So if you want to just explain how the LSAT Flex is going to work, how that's going to affect those that who uh, registered for March and April, that'll be really helpful. Yeah, yeah, of course. So basically what happened is that the April LSAT also last night, they announced that was canceled. It couldn't possibly go forward because most of the U.S. now has stay-at-home orders. So there's no way to administer an in-person LSAT at a testing center if people aren't supposed to leave their houses. So they canceled the April LSAT. They added a new LSAT on in late May, mid to late May. They haven't given a specific date yet, but that will be the alternative for those who had initially wanted to take the March or April LSAT. This new LSAT called LSAT Flex will be administered online. You will take it at home on your computer. It will also be different in that not only will it be at home as opposed to in a center with other students and proctors, it will be three sections, not five. So it's shorter now, but through their detailed statistical analysis, they will equate the scores. So even if you do the, in the at-home three-section exam, you will still get a score out of 180 that is said to be equivalent or comparable to the traditional five-section at-home exam. So you're going to do one section of games, one reasoning, and one reading comp. That's it. They're all back-to-back, -back, then you're done. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.